qualified and make third, I can get BAH? Yep. So, man, are you tired of living in the barracks already? Ah, no, it's not bad, but I'd just like to know when I'll be able to move out into town. Will my BAH cover all the rent? Only if you get an apartment that's a block away from Crack Core Lane in the heart of Ghettoville. Unless you get married, you're gonna need to find a roommate to help pay the rent. I'd recommend staying in the barracks. Oh, he's only saying that because he's got the worst luck with roommates. Hey, Thresh, tell him about this latest guy. <sighs> no. Ah, oh, come on, it's funny. Check this out, Gray. Thresh's new roommate, what a lazy sack of crap. Man, what's my leftover Chinese food? All the soda's gone. Man, there's no more string cheese. Seriously, Unicron, you are like the most inconsiderate planet-eating robot I have ever met. Seriously. <sighs> I mean, work all day and come home. He just sits here in the apartment and eats everything. Like, I can't leave anything overnight. If I don't eat it in one sitting, that's it. And does he compensate by buying groceries every once in a while? No, no, he doesn't. He belongs to me now. I belong to nobody. Oh, hey James. What's going on bro? Didn't know you were standing there. Um, what I meant was, uh, see... Dang dude, I totally feel like a jerk. We're still cool, right? And I was doing him a favor by letting him stay. He pays less rent even though he has a bigger room and this whole down on my luck routine's getting old. I'll be out on his butt in a week. But he's not as needy as the dude before him, right? Yeah, no crap. I need your clothes, your boots, and your motorcycle. No, T, the last time was the last time, alright? No more. No. Come on, James, don't be gay. I'll be back in like three hours. I'm just going to pick up my girl and get a bite to eat and chill at her place for a while. It's only three hours. Six tops. No. Aw, oh, James, buddy, give me a break here. I'll do your laundry for a week. No, you still owe me from last time. Okay, I'll do your laundry for a month. I'll do your laundry for a month, James. Come on, you're killing me. Come on, my girl digs the bike, man. I haven't been late in like a month. But at least that guy had a lot of hot chicks over. Chicks dig the robot accent. So, uh, did you have any other bad roommates? Well, there was this one guy who couldn't do anything right for the life of them. You know, man, you are completely useless. When you move out in the town, Nub, don't move in with an 80s robot. They seem cool, but it's always me, me, me with them. It gets old real quick. Noted. Hey, you know who would make an awesome 80s robot roommate? Vicky from Small Wonder. Man, she could vacuum under the couch while you were sitting on it. She didn't require food or sleep. And I'd program her to kill that red-headed neighbor girl on sight. Man, she was so annoying. Dude, nobody remembers that show. Aw. Oh. Don't you have an advancement exam coming up? Ah, oh, crap. That's next month, isn't it? Did you study? I never study. Oh. Why not? What's the point? Most of the questions are not even relevant to what I actually do every day. Did you at least look up what's on the bibliography? I couldn't care less about the advancement exam. It's just a stupid test that advances good test takers, whether or not they deserve a promotion. Most of the questions were on systems on other platforms that I have never even seen, much less operated and maintained enough to be able to answer questions about. All that training and qualifications I've got? Oh, sorry dude, you should have blown off doing a good job here so you can study insignificant crap so you can make more money and so your boss can put a bullet on his eval because his outstanding leadership was the reason that you knew how to take a standardized multiple choice test. Wah, what's up your butt? Stop.
stop talking or I will shoot you in the face. Relax, dude. What do you want to talk about then? Anything except the advancement exam. Okay. Um, you know, I think the last equal opportunity survey we took will provide a valuable insight to the command and its endeavor to improve overall command climate for us sailors. Don't you?